KFR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, we made it to September already, and as we flip the calendar, we're looking at a new air mass coming in. Can you spot the cold front? Draped all the way up into parts of New England, stretches all the way farther south through uh, Tennessee, and is bringing a lot of storms and showers for parts of the area. We just missed a lot of this moisture. Thankfully, not a lot of places in our area seeing these storms because some of them have been on the strong to even severe side. As we come in closer, just the northern edge of a rain shield clipping just south of D.C. will be into parts of Anne Arundel County and uh, over for us on the eastern shore. But by and large, a lot of us stay dry out of this. We're pretty good on the uh, rain gauge this month. It's been pretty active through August, so we're off to a good start. Futurecast keeps a spotty chance from now through the next couple of hours. Again, a lot of this has been pushed farther south. I can't rule out some scattered storms and showers this evening, but I do think most of us stay dry. Look at what happens when that cold front fully comes through. Winds doing about face to the north. That'll clear out any sort of heat that we had today and the humidity too. That's a cooler and drier air direction. That'll clear skies. Monday around midday, Labor Day is in good shape. We'll start off cloudy out the door, not looking the best, but the day gets better as we go on. As we mix in some sunshine, high temperatures make a run at 80 degrees. I think that's right about where we'll land most of this week. Overnight Monday into Tuesday, another round of sunshine. A lot of us back to work here. It's clear skies to start the day, and with that drier air filtering in, you're going to be hard pressed to find a cloud anywhere around the state to the middle part of the week. One note on Monday, as this cold front gets out of here, it'll be a little breezy. Gusts around the 15 to 20 mile per hour range. We're not looking at any damage or anything like that, but noticeable. Bigger vehicles might catch a little bit of a stronger breeze. The long term forecast has got a much cooler pattern. Look at the bowling ball set it over to the Midwest. That'll be a big temperature drop a week to a week and a half from now. We get in on part of that. That's highs in the low 70s, overnight lows in the low 50s, maybe even some upper 40s. We're really getting into September. Labor Day is in good shape. Skies gradually clearing temperatures in the low 80s and through Thursday, not a whole lot of change. We'll build back some clouds ahead of our next rainmaker, which is Friday. Storm and shower chance there looks pretty widespread for now, but we're still a few days away. We'll iron out the details on that. Partly cloudy Saturday and a week from today, 77 highs uh, looking pretty nice and temperatures staying mild for this time of year. Hey, stick around. We'll be right back.